name is Emily White. I'm from Heartland, Wisconsin, and I live in Brooklyn, New York. I got into the music industry because I'm a huge fan. Um, I was named most likely to become a roadie in eighth grade and studied music business in college, did a million internships after that, and haven't really looked back since. I work in all genres. That's what's been really personally rewarding um, about my book, How to Build a Sustainable Music Career and Collect All Revenue Streams and its accompanying podcast. I hear from artists literally in every genre, genres I've never heard of, country, hip hop, um, personal. I mean, obviously I've heard of country and hip hop, but you get the idea. I've navigated pretty much every sector of the music industry throughout my career and managing artists, tried really every you know, new platform and technology that's become available. So that's why I put it all into the book and podcast to to share this information with everyone because, you know, people shouldn't have to know me personally to have ac access to this information. I've really tried to take, you know, an industry that was set up in the 1950s to confuse artists and got even more jumbled as it shifted to digital and simplify it. I think the book's like, 130 pages and takes you from recording to release or creation to execution in order, which is something I've never seen before. This information is definitely out there, but I've been privileged to speak at, you know, really almost every music conference in the world. And I see artists just grasping at nuggets of information like, OK, this is what publishing is. This is what sound exchange is. And I've never seen anyone put it in in a methodical order. So that's exactly what I've done um, through this book and podcast. You know, right here in Wisconsin, I, I think what Justin Vernon, you know, and, and Bon Iver and his management team have done has, are, are really is really revolutionary. Um, I think what they've done is really wonderful. I'm super excited to have um, Chris Moon from Ambient Inks on the podcast. Um, Ambient Inks is uh, Bon Iver's merch company, which is also in northern Wisconsin, and they create sustainable merch with compostable um, packaging. Um, and I also um, love what the Q Prime guys are doing. Um, I think you know what they've done taking maybe it maybe hindsight is twenty twenty, but what they've done taking you know artists like the Black Keys and Red Hot Chili Peppers into really arena and stadium acts is pretty wild. I remember hanging out with the Black Keys once a million years ago when I was tour managing um, and we were in Ohio and they were just, you know, sitting in the back of their van. So um, that takes, you know, a really special management team and of course, special artists to um, take a duo like that and, and get to that level or or band like Red Hot Chili Peppers. I mean, absolutely no offense to them, but there's tons of 90s bands that aren't playing um, arenas and stadiums. So I think the Q Prime guys do a, a really fantastic job. I am working on the second edition of How to Build a Sustainable Music Career and, and Collect All Revenue Streams. And in the meantime, I'm so excited to be recording season two of the book's accompanying podcast here at No Studios in Milwaukee. It's going to be presented through a Milwaukee lens and then applicable as to how to grow your career regionally, nationally, and internationally from there. And then I'm also the founder of I Voted and I Voted Festival. So although it's 2023, um, we'll be doing some work around Wisconsin's Supreme Court election in April and most likely Virginia's election in November um, before we get ready to do a lot of work around um, the presidential election and all the elections that are happening in 2024. Um, I'm at EM Wizzle on social media, and you can check out um, you can join us in person or in real life um, for season two of this podcast. If you head over to No Studios website, it's going to be live streaming on volume. And if you want to learn more about I Voted Festival, we're a nonpartisan 501c3 nonprofit. You can head over to IVotedFestival.org.